Sense, it's Microsoft's new term for a bunch of subservices that are part of Windows Phone 8.1. We now have Battery Sense, Wi-Fi Sense, and Storage Sense. Let's take a look at what they are. When it comes to Windows Phone 8.1, Microsoft has delivered quite a few interesting services to help you manage things on the device. Now we've always had Battery Saver, but as you can see, it is now pulled out of settings. It's still listed there, but it's also listed here in the main app listing. And the best thing is you can, of course, pin it to start. Now I've already done that, and so we'll take a look here. So it pins the icon to your start screen, and that's really useful for quick access. And you can see it's got this cool little battery that's showing. But what's interesting, that's actually a live tile. That means that battery graph is actually reflective of my current battery status. So it doesn't show you a percentage, but if you always wanted a percentage, you can just bring it down here and you can see your battery status. But going back to this, if you tap it, it's gonna open up Battery Saver. Now let's take a look at this. It's been completely revamped. As you can see, it is breaking down the battery usage by app. And so I've been using Cortana a lot, of course, and you can see it's always, you know, always allowed to be used and it's been consuming the most battery. I can also go down here and you can see what's been using battery and what's not. Now if I tap any of those, it's gonna bring me to a settings screen. So now you can individually control apps. You can see app in use, app in background. Cortana barely uses anything in the background, so you can know it's basically a safe app. You can always allow it to run in the background. And then there's this option now, which is when battery saver is on. Battery saver is an option you can turn on or off, but it basically says that when your battery gets below 20%, it starts shutting off some core services to help preserve your battery. After all, you may want to make a phone call. However, this allows you to override that. So if you have an app like say WhatsApp or a messaging thing you want to use, you can go through and configure that. So I can turn Facebook, I can make sure I'm still getting my Facebook notifications if I deem that super important. So that's a really useful feature and we like the new control. It's a, a whole new level of uh, ability that it gives to users. Scrolling over here, you got your standard battery saver settings, shows you your battery level right there with the full percentage. It gives you your information about your charge, the last charge and how long you have left. You can see just changed. So it's 23 hours. This also does update a little bit more dynamic than before. I have my battery saver on. I can toggle that on or off. And you can see it gives you the same options that we had before. When the battery is low, it'll turn on. I can turn it on now until the next time I plug in, so it'll automatically fix it for me. Or always, and I can basically make sure I'm getting the most out of my phone and for battery usage. So that's a quick look at battery saver. Scrolling down here, you can see storage sense is also pins. So that also shows up in the app listing, and then you can pin it to your star screen. And like the battery saver, that too is actually a live tile. And you might have already seen it flip around, and it will actually show you how much storage is left on your phone. Now, if I had an SD card, this phone doesn't support it, but some do, it would actually show you your SD card memory as well. Let's tap it and launch it. And this goes into storage sense. Now you can see how much space do you have left on the phone. And there are some more fine controls. This is mostly for SD card users. If you have one, you can then go through and select where you're saving things to, which is really nice. It gives you very fine controls. So I can just save my photos. I can save uh, music and downloads, as well as install apps to an SD card. Of course, the icon doesn't have one, so it says 32 gigs of storage, but if I, did have a phone that had that, of course, I could not use that control. Now, another sense that's found under settings here is called Wi-Fi Sense. You just go down and scroll to Wi-Fi, tap that, and there it is. What is Wi-Fi Sense? It basically allows the device to automatically log you into public Wi-Fi networks. So if you've ever been into, say, a public library, you know you can find the network, but then it launches Internet Explorer, you have to enter in information, hit accept, it's time consuming, it's very annoying. This can do it for you. So you can turn it on, accept terms of service for use when required, and provide name, email, or phone number when required as well. In fact, you can even edit that info. Now Microsoft has gone ahead and provided info for you. Generic number, a fake name, which is just name, and even a fake email. Of course, you can override that and put anything you want in there, but if you want, you could just use some fake information and you hit done. 
Uh, you can also share Wi-Fi networks I select. So this is basically with Outlook contacts, Skype contacts, and Facebook friends. If people come over to your house and you have a Wi-Fi network, you can basically share your password with them without having to uh, actually give them your password. So it's actually a really nice feature. Uh, so it actually explains it down there how that works. When it comes to managing services on Windows Phone 8.1, Microsoft has done a great job of delivering some enhanced applications. You have the new battery saver, which allows you to pin to your start screen. You can also have finer control over apps. Storage Sense now shows you your SD card. You can pin it to your start screen, and it also gives you finer control. Finally, Wi-Fi Sense. You can now automatically log into public networks with false information, and you can even manage your own personal network by sharing it with people but not giving them the password. It's a great enhancement and we think it'll make using Windows Phone 8.1 a heck of a lot easier for people.